Days leading up to Tuesday's primary election in Missouri were troubling times. There's still a source of anxiety for people at the election office. Several, according to election staffers, several terroristic calls came in, making threats against election polling workers, including one that particularly got everyone's attention when he asked, allegedly asked, an election worker what would happen if he showed up to a polling place carrying an AR-15 rifle. That would be an ideal place for someone who was interested in hurting a lot of people. Laurie Elam's worst fears came from a telephone caller who blocked his caller ID and threatened to bring an AR-15 to one of her 59 election sites. We don't want anybody to be afraid, um, but we do want our polls covered if, in fact, there's any type of active shooter. Elam has been Kansas City's Democratic director for 12 years, and this was the most concerning call she's received. She says it was one of a handful of threatening calls she received in the week leading up to Tuesday's Missouri primary election. Elam says it was caused to work out a plan with Kansas City police in case a shooter showed up at a polling place to cause violence or affect the integrity of the vote by intimidating others. If we didn't get those type of calls, then we wouldn't feel a need for it. Federal officials have been faced with numerous threats of violence against election workers as of late. United States Assistant Attorney General Kenneth Polite says it's hard to prosecute people causing this chaos. Although the vast majority of communications directed at election workers, offensive though they may be, will not constitute true threats subject to federal criminal prosecution due to the robust protections afforded to political speech by the First Amendment, we are committed to following the facts and the law. And sadly, this isn't an isolated event. Uh, Elam says it was 2020 during that election season when an angry voter punched her in the face during an altercation. And Kevin, she says this arrangement with Kansas City Police is likely here to stay to safeguard against any trouble in future election seasons.